today's trip is Minga Edwards. So we're going up the Minga Valley, um, then up to Lake Mavis, then over the back, drop down past another wee tarn that some people call Anti Mavis, and then down to the Tarahumuma Pass down the Edwards Valley, past Edwards Hut, back out to where we started. Should be a good trip. Half of it done before. The other half is uh, some new learning. <laughs> Fortunately got a mate with me today to pick me up and fall over and read the maps. I'll turn it around where we're going. I reckon we go low. Yeah, here's the. Watch that stick, it'll get you. Watch, watch this stick, it'll get you in the ghoulies. This is where I have to. Think carefully about where my feet are going because I'm not looking. Oh, this is lovely. Let's see this. That water's nice. <laughs> Don't tr trust those roots. Quite wet. That's pretty impressive. Without stopping to even take a breath because we're talking. Yeah. And we go flying past all the time. So funny. And then we met them all at the top. Did you get, get your baguette and cheese out? Hey, Minga Bibb's all been done up two years ago. Oh, I've never even been in here. We always just went straight past. No, because it was... Look at that. Well, look, it comes with its own shoes. Nice chimney. Oh, she's a... Oh, it's an open fire. It's been rebuilt, though. Those bunks are five foot two. We go up that ridge you can see against the skyline. It's a long way across to there, doesn't it? All right.
going to try that um, over the ridge. There we are. This is the great thing about arriving at this lake is that you just sort of pop over this and you're greeted with this amazing most um most colleges are like that <laughs> the nature of the glacier it forms it so what are you calling it a corrie yeah is that well, scots or a coom well, is a coom. coom's welsh cwm or a corrie is uh, english yeah i don't know what the welsh call it. i don't know what the scots call it probably a corrie anyway. well they'd call That's fantastic. Like this. Twelve thirty-two. If I was camping here, I'd probably be tempted to go for a swim. Beauty. Um, over there, isn't it? Pretty cool. Couldn't get better weather. There's um, hot spur, big spur up there. So we go up just on this ridge. Right. right. Sidling around. Between snow and rock. Cool. I might just have to put you away for a bit. A little bit loose. We go along there a bit and then down. before I fall over. <sighs> Nearly at the top. Amazing views everywhere. If you get the chance, make the effort, get up here. We don't post hole into the snow. No, I'll go around the top of it. Go around this bit over the top here, to your right. My right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you could be. That's why I'm going. I might risk it. I'm going down. It's anti Mavis. That's their terraces. Over there's Falling Mountain. It fell off. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, I'm losing the breaking my pot. A John, who's got hot legs, he's got to cool them off. Right, join me on this descent. Unbelievable. There's a wee bush growing here. Oh, there's a wee... We hay be growing here. Yeah. And a wee uh, cave. <laughs> no bears in that one. Oh, 
It's tricky scree to work out whether it's going to go or not. I don't want to knock anything down on you. You're a better skier than me. I've got a turn. There you go. I told you get wet. Oh, stop. No, that's a silly idea. Yeah, I think you need to run it. Up there, yeah. Soft, soft uh, avalanche. We, I'll just fill up here and yeah. All right. Just descending from Anti Mavis. Beautiful waterfall up the back there. John's forging ahead. He's the mapping guy. I just know not to go down to those creek guts. Yeah, it's safer to go through the water. Amazing, sidling around. Luckily, people have left rock cans like that. Just helps to confirm that we're on the right track. Reading their maps right. All good stuff when you're off routes. Oh, now I've got my feet wrong following his footsteps and misstep. Yeah, so we're going to sidle around there to avoid some of these guts and over to that flat area with grass on it. And that's our way down to the valley to Ruahuna. Right, descent. Shitty, shitty rock. It's just flaky, sharp, bloody horrible, loose. Fitchy's gone up there. He fancies crossing the snow and then going down the next bit. Hopefully, he doesn't go up to his knees or turn it into a bum slide. And then he reckons he's going to go down there. I'm going down this bit. Over that knob there, hopefully, safely. Across that little rock bridge. And then we're over to the...
reason why that's called falling out. Everything fell off that. Roll down here. Blew up the other side. The grocks are your friend. They're your big rocks here, friends. Until they wobble, and then they're not. <laughs> they throw you everywhere. Just moving as sensibly as possible. Because I need more food, and now's not a good time to have a spill. Legs are still able to run. Looks a good sign. Should be coming up to the Edwards hut soon. It's a nice wee hut. It might creak a bit in the wind though, because it's uh, Lockwood, I think. Actually, I don't think it's that small. I think it might be. It's like a. Steam bunker or something, I don't know. Valley running, the bed running, I think.
last bit. All the drive track. What, 300 metres, you reckon? It's the old rail line. Oh, this is such testy metal. Up the guts. If you can do this, then you can, then you can do that. Oh, you'd have to do this for at least an hour to go through what was that place called? Tara. 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 Hunua. Is that Tara Hunua? Yeah.